The latest sign off the coast of Ellesmere Island. A four square kilometer chunk of ice snapped off the Ward Hunt ice shelf. Environmental surveyor Sam Soya saw it and picked up his camera to document it. There was definitely um, some major breakup going on along the front of the ice shelf. And so we went out and there was two very large sections, um, well, both of them having uh, drifted far away from the ice shelf. And uh, then there was also a lot of different little shards of ice. Um, my shards are still huge kilometer long pieces. Scientists knew this was coming. They discovered a massive crack in the ice shelf back in 2002. Arctic expert Derek Mueller made the discovery and has been tracking it ever since. Further cracking occurred in 2008 in, uh, during this last winter and that um, cracking has really destabilized the ice shelf and now we're seeing uh, parts of it actually detaching. It's the largest break since 2005. That's when a 66 square kilometer chunk of ice broke from the Ailes Ice Shelf, also near Ellesmere Island. The question is, why are the ice shelves breaking up? Most scientists agree it's long-term climate change, the kind of change that's happening in urban environments like here in Calgary. But in the far north, the impact is far more dramatic. In the Canadian Arctic, that means ice that a century ago covered 9,000 square kilometers today has been chiseled down to just 1,000 square kilometers. Also gone tiny microbial ecosystems that live on the icy surfaces, key parts of the food chain for Arctic wildlife like polar bears. When those ice shelves disintegrate, then those ecosystems are in peril as well. The change is likely permanent. It's just not cold enough to regrow the ice shelf. The face of Canada's Arctic changing.